Hey everyone, it's Diego Viteri. Welcome to a new video of Viteri Boxing. Today I'm going to teach you how to slip punches step by step. There are five main ways you can slip a punch. Number one, slip to the left. Number two, slip to the right. Roll to the left, roll to the right and just duck in the center. So let's begin how to do each one step by step. First, to slip punches, you need a strong base and always have vision of your opponent. Once you have a strong base, you need to rotate from the ball of your foot, your hip, and take your shoulder. Imagine you gotta take your shoulder to the opposite knee. You take, the, you take your shoulder to the opposite knee and bend a little bit your legs, and that way the punch will go just next to you. And it's the same doing to the other side. Rotate your foot. Rotate your knee, your, your, your hip, and take your shoulder or elbow. Imagine to taking your elbow to the other knee and bend your knees a little bit. That way the, the punches are going to go just next to you. But make sure, the most important thing, to never go with your head past your, past your knees. If you go with your leg past your knees, it means you don't have balance. So always, when you're slipping, make sure to keep your head inside of the position. The whole point of slipping a punch is to do it by an inch and not by a mile. If your opponent is going to throw you a punch, make sure your head is just next to the glove because the whole point is you can come back fast and counter your opponent. If you slip by too much, it's going to take you longer to come back and punch your opponent. So always make sure if you're going to slip just by, a, by an inch or if you, you can see the glove just touching even your ear, you have to make it slide just next to your head so you can come back to a counter. The whole point of sleeping is to get out of the, of, of the center line and getting back for a counter. When we slip punches, we need to think about our head in three positions. First, if we slip a punch here, we have to make sure we come back to the same position and then move to the other position. Exactly as the, as the, as the drawing, you go to this side, then you go to this side or going back to this side. But you can never go from this side to this side. You have to always make sure to come back to the center because if you move to one side to the other, just moving like this, you're going to get caught by a punch. Make sure to always go back to the same position. Going back to the same position is going to work even to slip a punch. If I'm here, my opponent is not going to throw the, his punch over here. He's going to throw the punch here. So whenever I come back to the same position, the punch is going to just slip. So make sure to always use these three positions and never go one side to another. A drill that you can do with a partner is using a tennis ball and one of you is going to be against the wall. The person that is against the wall is the one that's going to slip the punches. The one that throws the, the tennis ball is going to mimic the punches and you have to try to always aim to his head. The ones that are against the wall will begin to slip and you will keep throwing the ball against the wall for three minutes. <laughs> Another drill that you can, you can do with a partner is using pool noodles. And what you're going to do is actually try to hit your opponent going straight to his head. And what he's going to try to do is, of course, try to slip by an inch, not by a mile. <laughs> Now, to roll the punches, now you have to use only your legs. Make sure to use only your legs to bend your legs and pretend to move your elbow to the opposite knee. Like you want to touch with the elbow the opposite knee and the same goes to the opposite side. And make sure to don't fall forward. Don't use your, your, your lower back and bend forward because if you do that, you're going to lose balance and it's easy for your opponent to get a position and it's impossible for you to counter. If you're here, maybe the punches go up and, you, and they don't touch you, but you can do nothing from there. So make sure you, you roll and you can always do something about it. Whenever you're rolling the punches, you have to make sure you get out of the railroads or getting out of the center line or the line of attack. If you just roll the punch and stay in the same spot, you can get cut by the second punch. So you have to make sure to use your footwork in order to move you away from your opponent. So if he throws a punch, I roll the punch, but the second punch is just going to be 
uh, airborne, it's, it's not going to touch you. So make sure to always use your footwork and don't stay in the same spot just leaping punches because you're going to get cut. To roll the punches and work a drill at home, you can use your hand wraps and tie them to two different poles. And what you're going to do is put them at shoulder height. This is going to represent the punches that are actually coming to maybe your chin. But if you go a little bit lower, it's even better because you're going to duck a little bit more. So make, you start from one side and we're going to walk forward and then going backwards. When, you, when you're walking forward, the rear foot is always going to the side and the front foot is going forward. The front foot moving forward, the rear foot moving to the side. Your, your, the arm that is next to the, to the hand wrap has to be high uh, and this represents your defense that you have to make in order to, to protect your head. You move to the side, you take your, your hand up, you move to the side and whenever you're going backwards, it's the opposite. The rear foot is going to move backwards and the, the front foot is just going to move to the side. Make sure to move, always breaking the line of attack. And the last type of slip is just ducking or squat. Whenever a punch is coming, you just duck and that's it for, for any punch. One way that you can work with your partner is throwing a jab and whenever he counters any punch, you just duck. You throw your jab and you duck. You throw your jab and you duck. Slipping punches is one of the best and safest way to have defense with any opponent. If he throws a punch and you slip the punch, he's gonna be off balance and it's perfect for countering. If you're gonna work with someone, make sure to have fun and to always be light sparring. Technical sparring is gonna help you a lot with slipping punches and improve your defense. It's not, a, it's not about taking your opponent's head up, it's about having fun and, and helping your other opponent and taking care of him. I'll see you next week for the next class.